What's fucking good, boys? It's your boy Ozzy, the rank one player on console. And today I am bringing you guys a fucking settings video since everyone has been asking. Everybody's been asking for a settings video. I'm gonna break it down. Yo, I love my boys on console. So I'm going to break it down. You can take this however you want. Either you can use this, listen to the video. I know it's going to be a little scuffed and weird. The video is going to be weird because I don't really know how to make videos. But you can use this and help. it will help you if you decide to let it help you. You know, you choose what you do with this knowledge, right? So basically, there's four settings. There's four aim assist settings. Let's pretend that the vertical, the horizontal, and the aim smoothing, and the aim assist strength aren't here. We're focused on window size and aim assist ease in. Four different aim assist options for console. There's four options. There's this option right here where it's, this is the first one. This one's kind of unique. It's by itself. It's the only one of its type. It's, it's the window size. You lower the window size. And it's like, you just gotta like, you just gotta trust in yourself, believe in yourself, and just like, if you think it's your shot's gonna hit them, you just let it rip, you feel me? You're not really lining it up, you're just like, looking over at them, and you just shoot, you feel me? You just look at them and shoot. Alright. Setting number one, alright? Setting number two, right here. You let the game aim for you. you you're basically moving with your left stick, and you're like... Slight movements with your right stick. You feel me? You don't have to really move much with your right stick. All right. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Next. 50. All right. So this is just the default Overwatch aim assist settings. All right. This is a default. Lots of people probably have these. These are all right. Kind of outdated now. Since we're in Overwatch 2, they were good in Overwatch 1. These were my Overwatch 1 aim assist settings. You know, maybe they're good for you. Don't. These ones barely work for me, all right? This setting barely works for me, but it, it works for a lot of people, I guess. But since I see a lot of people using them. I, I highly, out of all the four, I feel like this one is the worst. 100 aim assist window size and 50 aim assist ease in. This is probably the worst one, in my opinion. And then there's this one. Aim assist ease in. Zero. This is for like timing your shots. If you're super precise and you don't like the drag, you don't like when there's like four people in front of your screen and it drags from one person to the other. This is the setting you choose. This one has zero drag. The fifty, the fifty aim assist is in one that I said though. It's it's not that bad. It's just my least favorite out of all of them. That's just preference, bro. It's it's the same as all the other ones. The, these are. The four settings that you guys have to choose between for aim assist. If you're not using these four, then you're probably copper or bronze. Like, I don't know. You're probably terrible. All right. Let's be real. So, you use those four aim assist settings. All right. I'm going to go back to mine. Now, I'm going to break down everything else. Aim assist is just... You got to have one of those four settings that I just showed you. Alright, horizontal and vertical, these don't matter. These are preference. You can lower them, higher them, whatever. I play on 100. And then aim smoothing. I, I recommend you only use 100 or 99. And then for certain, char certain characters like Genji, you lower it. But, uh, I mean, maybe if you're like 12 years old and you have aimbot, you got really good aim and you're like hyper-focused all the time, Maybe you can use this if you like, you can lower it if you really like fast sense, but you got to stay consistent. So I stay 99, like 99 is consistent. The aim smoothing basically means that if you make fast movements on your joysticks, your screen will move faster. That's what it means. And uh, if you keep it at 100, that means if you keep your aim smoothing at 100, that means that uh, your shit will never speed up even if you make fast movements on your joystick. So I keep it at 99 so I can get a little bit of, like, spice. You feel me? I can move my shit a little bit faster if I have to. I can make that fast movement. Alright. Settings. I got... Everything's the same. Interact button is up on the D-pad, okay? Reticle. This is my crosshair. I play on 6-6. Six, six. Turn my dot opacity to zero. Alright. I play vibration on dual zone. Obviously, everyone should be on dual zone. All right, now 
I'm gonna break it down. The individual characters, like so, every character you keep the same with the you you every character you keep the same settings. All right, with whatever aim assist technique I I you chose, whether it be this one, whether it be this one, whether it be this one, or whether it be the other one with 50 window size, you keep them on for all characters. Okay, you do, you need the same aim assist settings across all characters, or it's gonna mess you up. Except for I'm gonna show you a few different things you need to change. All right, so Sigma is one of the like factors you gotta like take in sigma zero aim assist is in you can't play sigma with aim assist is in or it's just horrible it's just horrible you you gotta keep the aim assist is in on sigma at zero so you can it will you'll, you'll feel like if you once you do this if you're you'll you'll feel like you've been playing and you've been like like trapped this entire time and then once you hop on this settings you'll feel like you're literally like free to aim on sigma and you'll be like holy shit my aim is so good on sigma now got to turn the aim is ease in on sigma down to zero it's just a simple one simple one simple one easy easy ash i play 60 scoped all right 45 is also good some people play 100 Sojourn, all right, this is, if this is one thing I wish I could give everyone, it's this right here. Since I'm a Sojourn man throughout all the seasons, I try to say every season I, I play Sojourn and I'm high SR on Sojourn every fucking season. Like, this my most played hero. Bro, swap your triggers on Sojourn. Swap your triggers on Sojourn. LT and RT or L3 and R3. Whatever it is, swap your triggers, bro. Realistically, you've been playing video games for a long time. You shoot with your RT, right? And the shot that matters is the RT on Sojourn. Not the LT, the RT. I just sit there and I shoot the LT. Another thing is, when you pop your ult, keep the SMG holding down too. And you just like, keep the SMG down. You can always, always keep your SMG. There's no downfall of keeping your SMG going while you shoot. Simple trick, you feel me? While we're on the case, all right. Next, Widow, 30 scoped, usually put this down to like 70, you feel me, so I get a little free. 30 scoped, I go from 30 to 45 to 50 to 60, it's all about how I'm feeling, but 30 is usually what I go, my go-to. Genji, alright, it should be zero aim smoothing, so you could, you can, you're fast with it. You gotta be able to move swift on Genji, but this takes tons of practice. I've been playing Genji forever, so it's like it's hard to be consistent with this sense. But my Genji mains out there, you might wanna if you only play Genji, this is probably the best sense. This is when I when I one trick Genji, I would always just use this sense. I'll show you again. Hundred hundred everything, zero aim smoothing on Genji. It's the most versatile shit there is. You can just like levitate on Genji. I'm kind of washed, bro, but whatever. I don't really play Genji that much. I'm still, like, the best Genji, though, on this game. All right. Anna, 50 friendly. Aim assist strength, max, bro. On console, you don't need anything above 50, bro. I Like, even 50 is kind of, like, just nothing above 50. I use 50 scoped on Anna, though. Kiriko, I swap my triggers on Kiriko, too, and... It's all, you can you can swap triggers on Life Weaver too if you really want to, because it feels kind of better. But other than that, that's all my settings. Tracer, same shit. Everything's the same. Everything's the same. I keep everything the same. All right. Basic shit. Yo, you should you guys should turn show friendly outlines on. By the way, put it to always. That's a good sense. Interact button up on the D pad. Vibration on. Choose one of those aim assist techniques that's right for you and go off with it, boys. You can adjust the horizontal, vertical, and aim smoothing as you should. I wouldn't really f fuck with the aim smoothing, but everything else, do your thing. Good luck, boys. I hope this shit helped. Go crazy. Go stupid.